Hello, this is Cindy, and today we're taking a look at Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 24. Something from the recycling bin. Believe it or not, this is from the recycling bin. I had tossed this a while ago. I tried to take some stickers off of it for a page I was doing, and none of the stickers come off anymore. They're just peeling the whole paper back off. So I threw it away. And then I thought, okay, something from my recycling bin. We'll find a use for that. A bottle or a glass. I just finished my time journal. I'll put a link to that down below. And time in a bottle was one. I, I This is an image that I have used a couple of times in a couple different sizes. And this was just an extra one I had left over. Piece of wrapping paper from my purple journal. Sorry if that's really shiny. A favorite food. Well, that's actually kind of right here on the birthday cake. I love cake. I am the only person in my family that loves cake. So when I make a cake, guess who ends up eating most of it? Which is not a good thing, but I love cake. Especially chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. My absolute favorite. Text in a different alphabet. This is Hebrew. It is actually from, it's a Harry Potter translation of uh, in Hebrew. And bonus, a three of something. I have a piece of music paper here. There are three staves, but I'm going to put three notes on it. Okay, let me take a minute here, get my new glue book out, and my big glue stick, and we are going to put down this paper first. This is a really pretty wrapping paper that I don't know where I picked up, but I used it in my purple journal, and if you have not seen the walkthrough for that yet, I will also put that link down below because that, I, th I really like how that journal came out. So there's this. Sorry, it's very, very, very shiny. And then I'm not even going to attempt to take those stickers off of there. I learned the hard way that they do not come off. They do not, do not come off. And I am taking it as it is. So there is my something from the recycling bin. Okay. Um, you know what? Text in it. I put left the number on here because so I would remember which way it actually goes. I'm going to lift that up a little bit. And I'm going to... Because I do not read Hebrew. So... It definitely is difficult for me to know which way the letters go. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. That is definitely from the pollen in the area. It is, I'm filming this on a day when the pollen count is very, very high. There. So there's my text in a different type. Um, I think I'm going to put it down here and um, just set it off just a little bit. I thought about fussy cutting it out. Maybe I will. It won't take that long to fussy cut it. Right? I watch some people fussy cut on um, and they are so incredibly fast with it. I'm amazed at how quickly and how easily and accurately they fussy cut. I'm not quite that good. There. Now I think I'll just put it like that. Oh, that looks horrible, doesn't it? I got a little point up here. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but I can sure see it here and it looks awful. All right, there we go. Not gonna bother trying to do anything else with it. We're just gonna leave it just as it is. Time in a bottle. My husband's and my song. And then I'm going to put this right down here. piece of music staff paper. Yes, I am using my new 
For those of you who haven't noticed yet, I am using my new book. My Dick Blick catalog finally ran out. All right, let me grab my little fine marker here. And we're going to make all treble clefs because they're fun to make. And let's make one, two. I'm not putting in a time signature. Um, let's put some on some lines. We'll put in a couple of whole notes. Oh, I've got to have three. There we go. So three of something. I have three sets of three notes each. There we go. That was really fast and very quick. Uh, I had a good time doing that one. This is the first half of the Marguerite Miller Challenge this week. Well, the, the, it is the Marguerite Miller Challenge, and then we'll do Scrappy Saturday in a moment. All right. Be back in a minute.